operations so that we now had stable combustion. So it was a very nice, unique solution to a very serious problem that was a big showstopper in the program, had it not been solved. With the construction of the first stage well underway, the building of the second fell to the engineers at North American Aviation in California. Stage two was a technical challenge of the first order. We had some unique manufacturing problems. We had interesting design problems. And um, it was probably the biggest challenge of the, of the Saturn V. The main headache for the Stage Two team was that the Apollo spacecraft, the command and lunar modules sitting on top of the Saturn V, kept getting heavier as their designs evolved. That inevitably meant that the rocket below them had to be made lighter. One of the engineers feeling the pressure was George Phelps. When they gave us a weight reduction problem, we said, well, we we'll take some out of the first stage, some out of the third stage and the second stage. No, the, the first stage is too far along and so is the third stage. And so we got to take it out of the second stage. A radical solution was needed to shed weight from the second stage. Normally, two separate tanks stored the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fuels with a temperature difference between them of over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. At both ends of each tank was a strong, relatively heavy, dome-shaped bulkhead. So to save weight, somebody came up with the idea to eliminate one bulkhead. This was the biggest, I think, the biggest challenge on that stage, to have one bulkhead to separate the two fuels. The stage would now have only one tank, and the fuels would be separated by just one divider, known as the common bulkhead. This arrangement had a double benefit. It got rid of one of the heavy bulkheads, and it reduced the overall length of the stage. But it also meant that two liquids at vastly different temperatures were right next to each other. And we had a, a divider that was about that thick. That was the most difficult problem that we had to solve, but we did it, because engineers can just about do anything. <laughs> but the greatest temperature problem was not keeping the intensely cold liquid fuels insulated from each other. It was keeping both of them from boiling in the hot Florida sun. We insulated the liquid hydrogen tank in the early days with a honeycomb insulation. We put it on in big vacuum chambers and we sucked the, the honeycomb down onto the metal, pulled it tight and let the adhesive set. But all through the early stages, we had problems with the honeycomb insulation popping off the vessel. The engineers realized they were doing something wrong. To fix it, they would need specialist help. We were manufacturing the vehicle at Seal Beach in Southern California. And Seal Beach is a big surfing town. And we found that the surfers had been using honeycomb insulation to make their surfboards, and they were very skilled at using it. And we finally started hiring the surfers and they did a great job with it. The only downside of those guys was that when the surf was up, there was a big absentee problem. They were out there doing their trick. But they were a great bunch of guys, and they, they really brought a unique skill to the space program that I don't think we appreciated at the time until it was pretty well over. The Saturn V's third stage was also under construction in California.